Netflix, which is titled, uh, let me go over to it here, Something, something. Darker. Something. something is coming. Something is sinister. Something is going on in this universe that Zack Snyder is creating. As we see on the screen here, this was a great moment. Again, I wasn't the biggest fan of the use of Martha and um, and his mom uh, or uh, Lois Lane, but Martha. <laughs> but I, I love that moment there. With, with, and listen, I said it in my review, and I still stand by it. I think Henry Cavill was perfect in this movie. Uh, I think yeah. him. I, I wanted more of Superman, <laughs> but I thought that he was just perfectly yeah, used. In film uh batman brings the league to the bat cave we get the little joke of uh you know this is Alfred. i work for him but more importantly in this shot again planting the seeds i don't know i had a, per a premonition i had a dream something darker mm -hmm. which ties back to bvs which ties back to the nightmare sequence that we'll get to at the end of this film we get the lead coming up with the plan on how they're going to take down stephen wolf defenses superman this moment here Ooh, uh listen Listen, man, I, I, I've never been a Superman fan growing up just because I just never really resonated with the character. I was more of a Batman fan. Henry Cavill is my Superman. Henry Cavill is my favorite. Yeah. This is no disrespect to Christopher Reeves. This is no disrespect to everyone else that's worn the cape. Yeah. He just, it's just something about him and, and him getting the suit, the, the VOD, like Alex mentioned earlier with, you know, uh, Victor Stone here and his dad on the voice recorder, but hearing, you know, his, his two, his two fathers talking about the suit, him embracing the suit, him yeah. taking flight. Again, recreating that this imagery here of oh him God. being risen to take on, uh, you know, the oh fight. God. We see the Justice League coming together. They're taking on Parademons left and right. Everyone's being a badass. They're fighting Stephen Wolf. We see Wonder Woman getting her round two with him. We see Arthur coming in the mix, having his, you know, when he's surfing on the Parademon. We get that in the, in the film. Again, Wonder Woman being so awesome and just taking out people left and right. Superman. Not impressed. Really great line there. But with all that being said, Superman, I mean, he's beating as a Stephen Wolf, laser beams, cold breath, all that stuff. They still lose. So with them losing, we see Barry has to run faster than he's ever ran before. I love the voice over there. I love the visuals of the speed force on a I would I wish I would have saw this on the big screen because it would have been incredible. The score. This is again, we talked about. I know Amanda uh Ezra Miller not really working, but him in the, I don't know what, what, what yeah. Zach was able to do with him in those sequences and the look yeah. and the feel. Was just like, so good. We see at this point, they're able to get the, you know, we, we have Cyborg who's in the mother boxes. He sees this vision, you know, as is alluded to early in the film, the mother boxes shows you your fears, which he says, you know, I'm not broken. I'm not alone, which is a great callback. And again, the emotional beats to this character. We wrap up with the league taking out Stephen Wolf, you know, Aquaman stabs him in the back. Chops off his head. Wonder Woman chops off his head in such an epic way. His head goes to through the boom box of the boom tube. You know, we see Dark Side there. Get the Armada. He's coming. He's looking at the Justice League. This is again setting the seeds. We got a granny goodness. We got the side on his side. And by the end, the league is now a team. So Amanda, something darker. Let's talk about it. Oh my goodness. Every part just gets better and better. It's unreal. Um, I absolutely adore Henry Cavill as Superman. And I think that in this film, he has become a fully fledged character. It is a well-rounded Clark Kent, a well-rounded Superman from Man of Steel to BVS. We've seen him struggling with his humanity. And then we've seen him struggling with the, the symbol of Superman and what it means. And now with his resurrection, he's fully formed as we see. And I think it's just a beautiful arc for Superman. Of course, I want 5 million Man of Steel movies. Like, obviously. <sighs> I need them. But <laughs> you know, like if this is what we're going to get, I'm yeah. perfectly content with it as well. He deserves better, to be perfectly honest. He deserves an entire trilogy, saga, whatever you want to give Henry Cavill. Yeah. He is absolute perfection. The black suit is stunning. It is absolutely stunning on him and it just works so well. I love that he went ham, to be perfectly honest. Like he was just beating beating him to a pulp and you saw like for a minute there, I was like all right soups I think he goes yo, yo, chill out son chill out my dude <laughs> like I didn't even care I'm like yeah go get him bro that's why you came back and that's why he fought so hard is because that's why they brought him back he's like they need me I gotta go and then he just went full force that not impressed line the delivery I knew shit was about to hit the fan and literally that's what happened so he he's just absolute perfection. I adore him. And again, the the first flight 
beautiful goosebumps tears just hearing the score again it's just absolutely stunning work and again zach knows how to visually show superman and his power it's yeah. fantastic um and then like them fighting as a team incredible like all of them especially i think cyborg and the flash being like that connected to each other i really yeah. enjoyed um and again like flash that whole scene I know that I said I have my my um, my peeves with Ezra, but yeah. Zack Snyder, dear God, what you did with the Flash, and that's like I lost. It. I was or screaming. Sure. I'm like, he's Visual. doing what he's doing. I was just like, so it's awesome. amazing. So it was awesome. perfect. It was perfect. Like, how can you not? If you're a Flash fan, you're living right now watching that. I swear, right? So yep. uh, that was awesome. And then, like you saw a Aquaman, like full force. And guess what, guys? Diana went for the freaking head. That's she the went head. for the head. Yeah, the Thor head. didn't do it, but Diana went for the head. She's like, yep. enough of this shit. I will <laughs> like, cut it clean off. Clean You're good. going back. And that's it. Right? So, like, you see the differences. Like, she's just a freaking warrior and a half. It was wicked. Yep. But my favorite shot is literally all of them standing there. The score, when that scene played out, it's beautiful. It is the most beautiful thing I have seen in a comic book film in a very long time. And I think that's gonna be like my desktop background for like the rest of my life, because it's just perfect. <laughs> Well said, Amanda. Well said. Before I talk to you, Alex, I do want to do the conversation. Alex, we, we were talking about something darker. The moments that we get in this uh, scene here, the return of Superman. We got the league taking on uh, Stephen Wolf for the second time. But now, as you mentioned, Alex, they're a team now. They're working yeah. together. As we see you know, Aquaman stabbed, Wonder Woman cut off the head. What was your take on this epic six part here? It's one of the best team ups I, I think I've seen in a long time. And told right. Like, I don't care about the backstories of how they, you know, whatever. We all know what the characters do and what, who they are. It doesn't make sense for the movie final. Because sometimes I feel like most of these superhero movies, they rush the shit out of it just to end the movie and put the credits up. And I yeah. don't even, and, and I don't, and yeah, I know everybody's like, oh, you know, uh, it's four hours to tell a story. You know what? I prefer four hours if you tell me a great story. Then a two hour rushing and just so we could get to a sequel. Like, and I gotta wait 10 years just to continue. So with that, is this final was so amazing because Batman was willing to sacrifice himself, which he didn't tell the group. He did not yeah. tell the group. He was just yeah. like, you know what? You know when it yeah, you know what happens when uh, when you know when the when the thing goes down. So he was gonna sacrifice himself, which I was like, oh. but even Batman was badass in this because we didn't get this version. In the other 2017, when he's mm -hmm. flying that 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 the bat wing or whatever you want to call it, the, the yeah, let's just call he's it the, the bat wing. Yep. Yeah, the bat wing. Mm -hmm. And he shoots the first missile, and they're like, you know, Cyborg is f feeling for him. He's like, dude, you got to pull up. And then you see him, and he goes, I just got to knock a little harder. And then he sends like 20 missiles to mm -hmm. go in, and I'm like, oh my god, this is badass. Then he yeah. shoots it down. Then he gets in my favorite Batmobile now, because that is my favorite Batmobile. Batmobile is awesome. Yeah, it is badass. That scene is amazing. Um, even if we already saw it, but it was so short, but it was effective because you already knew what was going to happen. Um, and that's when you knew the team was a team because they were like, we're not going to let Bruce die. Like, we're, we're just going to we're going to help him out. Yep. But my favorite moment is when they rip all his freaking guns. Right. And all of a sudden Aquaman lands on his stuff. And then you see the flash come. And then all of a sudden they do oh, that, that slow shot, motion. That so, the the yeah. Asian Voltron. <laughs> yeah. Hero yep. Yep. But Frank this one, it. but this one was more effective than Age of, Age of Ultron. That to me was more effective because of it this. was. It's a pretty picture, but keep in mind, they yeah. literally did that just busting through a building. Like there was nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was no there was no foes on the other side. <laughs> no, no. You know what? You know, right. funny, though? Well, you know what's funny though? Like that is That's in the cut. Funny. So Joss Whedon looked at that and didn't. He's like, now nah, we'll scrap he said, that. You know like, what? No. I did it in Avengers. I don't want this in DC. Yeah, he's exactly. Like, this is diarrhea. Oh god. Yeah. It was so, so annoying. <laughs> that was cool. I love when when uh, he blew up the hole so they could jump in and then they, yeah. they shoot the Batmobile and then it just flips and he pops out and I was like, oh, this yeah, is Batman. Yeah. Oh, and then gosh, was like, bro. And that was another highlight for me was. When he ejected, you saw the 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 Gatling gun. I mean, the what is it called? The the stupid. Uh, now I'm like brain dead. But when he shoots the gun and mm -hmm. you see it attach and you see him just fly across, mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, 
this is awesome. And then you see him swing and kick the guy, and there's all yeah. that throws the bomb, and I'm like, oh, oh my god. Then you see Aquaman coming. But when um you see Barry starts to run, and he's oh, like, Victor, Jimmer, that yeah, he goes, Victor, I got it. Yeah, he goes, I got it. Let me know. And all of a sudden, you see Stephen Wolf come in and you know interrupts him. And I'm like, oh my god, some someone's gonna trip the Flash, and we're gonna like this is gonna be screwy. Um, one thing I thought it was gonna happen was I thought we were gonna see Nightmare Batman from him getting hit. I thought it was gonna go right into Nightmare Batman because you're gonna see mm, the, the chaos. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So I yep. was like, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah, I was like, are we gonna go in tonight? But you know, and I loved it because once he healed, which I thought that was I thought it was pretty cool is that he healed. Mm -hmm. And once he healed, he did the, the Jonathan Kent stop when he put his yeah. hand up. That's <laughs> so I was trying to remember like what I saw. That's uh, a good call. It was yeah, such a big that. It was yeah. such a flash thought. Like he had to make sure because if he if he did it, yeah. he was gonna get caught by the blast. Yeah. He had to make that yeah. instantaneous decision. To be able to move super duper fast to kind of yeah. avoid it. And yeah. oh gosh. Yeah, he did the Jonathan stop. And then all of a sudden I was like, okay, so now we're seeing Zack Snyder's speed force version. Yep. And I thought it was amazing. Because we saw the CW version. You yeah. know, we've seen that, that version. So much with a budget like that. Yeah. But this one I thought was great because while he was running, you saw everything attach Piece itself back. back. And I was just yep. like, yo, this is badass. There's never been a depiction like that. No, uh, never. Never. seeing the flash. Yep. As he's reversing time, it reconstructing itself mm -hmm. so much so where you see the heroes, Superman's the bones blood. and yes. blood. Come yes, in. man. I was like, oh my yeah. God, yeah. that is wild. Attention to seeing, detail. Seeing Cyborg's skull reconfigure back together. Like it is, that was so like epic. But you're right, Amanda. Like Zach just has this fundamental understanding of depicting superhero powers. It is yeah. absolutely insane. Yeah. yeah, it's very insane. And and even the fact that, like, even once everything came together, he touched him. And then the mother, you know, he's like opening up the whatever. And he's like, you know, Superman, you know, and yeah. Superman came and did his thing. And I love that with the portal. And, and that's another, to me, is iconic thing um, where Thanos is more, you know, he came out and he whooped, you know, the you know the the was it Thor he whipped they hit yeah. their asses and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one was more confrontational because they're in the portal and they were like, you know what, we send your ass a message. If you come to Earth, we're gonna whoop that ass because they yeah. sent the dude's head and everything through the portal and he stepped yeah. on it. And he's like, you know what, get the ships ready because we're going Dermata. to Earth. Like going you know what, school way that he so said too. just yeah. so I know and for the people that are out there that may yeah. like you know, not only were the mother boxes and 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 essentially the unity. It's what is facilitating the pathway to Earth from hundreds of millions yeah, of lights. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So it was mm -hmm. so them coming together was not only gonna essentially like change Earth, but also open the card. portals. Okay, yeah. That's, yep. So I, when I, I wanted to make sure because I, I feel like the boom tubes were opened up and they were always it, it seemed like there was a little bit of incongruence there where they can kind of open they weren't opened up dependent upon one another, but I guess for the size of that armada, all right, that's, I'm cool with that. Yeah, so when yeah. You, you notice when it started to fuse, it started to crack open a bit, but mm -hmm. then once he started to start sealing it itself, you started to see it shrink a bit. And okay. that's the last image you saw of them until Superman just popped that damn sucker open. And the last yeah. thing he saw was all of them going, <clears throat> We're here, bitch, and let's see what you're gonna do. Let's go. Like, that's, <laughs> yeah, let's, so to me, it's yeah. a fantastic um part six fantastic yep. yeah, yeah. Can, you know. incredible kobe yeah. man something darker man what were some of your bigger bigger takeaways from this part i mean there's so much you guys covered the fact that we get lois and clark uniting inside that field and this scene yeah. just feels so much better so much richer um the justice league going to the back cave for the first time and like yeah. you know flash being like a little boy it's like it's really cool and then like you know you know them kind of like making this plan of attack and then you know getting like this homage to some of the greatest moments inside of man of steel um where we're yeah. seeing you know clark as superman learn to fly and the thing that i have to remind myself is that remind me guys what is the time difference between man of steel and batman v superman it was like less than six months 18 months superman has been superman for like because man of steel essentially is his first day on the job like like we have to understand that right and yep. then he's been Superman for a year and a half and ultimately died. Like he, uh, he's still yeah. so new at this. Still right? young. Yep. Yeah. He's still so new at this. And it's like, it, it really is amazing seeing this. And like, man, I want so much more Henry Cavill. And 
the, the, the color grading, the effects into everything that happens inside of Russia compared to the 2017, it's just exponentially better. It makes more sense. Yeah. Josh, I'm, Josh, um, you know, uh, um, unlike what Zach, Zach has a fundamental understanding of not only how the power sets work, but how each character works in regards to action. Batman is not a quote unquote superhero. Mm -hmm. His job is to go ahead. Like he's taking strategic. all these guys out. He's strategic. Yeah. He's doing this. My only thing, the one thing I've always respected about Batman is that regardless, regard, regardless of how big of the foe, he mm -hmm. always takes them on at least once head to head. I would have loved for all the heroes to kind of have fallen before Superman comes. And yeah. it's just him and Steppenwolf. You're like, <laughs> this is going to end well. And Steppenwolf <laughs> is just like, what are you going to do mortal? And yeah. like, he actually like Batman goes toe to toe with him for like 30 seconds. And whatever. I was hoping I for a, like a little, I got a bomb like on your yeah. face. I'm going to die in your gut. Like, no. Why do you want my boy to die? Why would nah, you want to know? Let me tell you something. I, I've seen Batman go up. I mean, he challenged really Superman. Darks, like, that's I what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, oh my God, I will <laughs> never forget inside the Batman Superman animated series when Superman makes that camera it's like, inside of Batman and yeah. he comes up to him. And, oh, like, he's, he's, he's never going to step down from him. Yeah. But, like, he was still great. I mean, the action is amazing inside of the scene and obviously the greatest KO in superhero history. <laughs> you know, you put that up there, you know, when the Hulk does puny God to Loki yeah. and stuff like that, you get yeah. the one, two, three combo. Like, an, I. The, the freaking, you get the, uh, in the back, and then the yeah. Superman <laughs> and, the and like, my man, my man Darkseid just squishes that thing like it was nothing. I'm like, yeah. all right. Like, I, I cannot yeah. wait for more of this. It was truly, truly amazing. And like, like I said, like we talked about with the depiction of Barry and the Speed Force, like, I've never seen anything like it. And it's so, I've, I've just watched that last sequence over and over and over again. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's, 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 it's incredible, man. And it's a great way to, to finish up the film. But no, there's an epilogue. And before we get to the